Hello from the Tukas Copy TV studio in Geneva. I'm Daniel Schwenger. Alongside me to discuss the topic of impact investment in organic cosmetics is Jenny Scharner. She's founder of Laxit Organic Skin Care and Guillaume Taylor. He is managing director of Quadia Impact Finance. Jenny and Guillaume, welcome to the studio. Thank, Thank you, you very much. So uh, what is actually impact investment about, Guillaume, and why is Quadia interested in an organic skincare product such as Luxit? Well, Quadia Impact Investing is about financing companies who have put at the core of their development strategy products and services which are answering to global social and environmental changes. We believe that there's a paradigm shift going on in the way we source raw material, we supply uh, manufacturers of products and services in the way we distribute, sell, and consume these products and services, and in certain instances, how we recycle them. And this paradigm shift is driven by social and environmental and economic issues. And we believe that the companies are really going to be able to answer those, um, that paradigm shift are the ones who are looking in the future at these social and environmental issues and are putting those social environmental issues in the core of their product and their, their service. So the cosmetic industry for me is very interesting because there is a paradigm shift that, that's happening. There's going to be a regulatory and a retail or consumer push to change the way cosmetic companies are, are manufacturing the cosmetics. And looks, it has been in the investment portfolio from Quadia since 2012. 2012, right? yes. And so, Jenny, what uh, actually is your product about? W can you maybe explain a little bit what is the difference between bio cosmetics, organic natural cosmetics, and where do you see your specific unique selling point? Well, if you look at Luxit as such, it is an organic and natural product. It is a true certified, and we've chosen to certify it by nature just to assure the quality of the products. But the main goal by, we, by why we are doing Luxit is because we want to have high quality, effective products that actually makes a difference to you. But then, of course, it's organic and natural. Uh, so we don't have that in the front of our packaging or anything because that is our necessity in the future that everything should be organic and natural but uh, we think it's also crucial to have the certification for, because there's so much greenwashing going on and by having it organic and natural means you can't grow it in the old way we're using pesticides and chemicals to grow the raw materials really that is in these products. And since our body is absorbing what we're putting on it, it's even more important to use only organic and natural products. So the unique selling point really with our products, it is that they are highly technical and scientific. So it is phytobotanical and you give the client a real uh, result with these products as well as we don't damage the environment and everything is biodegradable. So we see that it is all connected. It doesn't matter if we use all different products on our skin and then it's damaging everything that is around us because that will kick back on us anyhow. And can you explain a little bit what are the trends here right now and uh, where do you like to enter next in which countries? I think if you look globally, uh, the interest in organic and natural has uh, become more than just a niche. It's, people are more and more aware that this is something that needs to be around you in your everyday life. It's not just one unique thing. It's not just an organic tomato that you have in your salad. It is also the clothing. It is the cosmetics. It's everything together. Mm -hmm. And Quadia has really supported your company by mm -hmm. also finding new markets. Where actually are you selling now? We started off in Sweden, uh, which is a very, very small market compared to uh, Europe and also globally. But we needed to start somewhere and we are from Sweden also. So we wanted to try the market, see what the response was, how people would react. And then interest actually came to us from other people contacting us from other parts of the world. And the initial contact with Germany was uh, already in 2013 
but everything was starting in 2014. So since uh, January, we were actually uh, to be found in Berlin uh, in a place called Weedon, and she's now also our agent. So she started off to test the market, see what the response was in Germany, and it has been so positive. So we're now ready to go further with the UK, Switzerland and so forth. Mm. So your brand is quite new, also small. There are big cosmetic brands that have massive marketing budgets. How do you actually find your new customers? <laughs> this is tricky. This is really tricky because we don't have the means like L'Oreal or any of the bigger brands, of course. But that means you have to be really, really smart with which ways you're doing it and which path you want to go through, who contacts uh, you, who you want to contact, which bloggers you want to uh, work with, Facebook, website, uh, YouTube. There's so many other ways today to actually reach out and find uh, for the fi customer to find you actually. And that is the way we have to do it. So we're not going to buy a TV advertising uh, in the broadcasting channels. Uh, we do it in another way. And also to actually find the bloggers that are, have an impact uh, and have a great number of followers. We don't want just to build an awareness. We want people to actually go there and have a, the action of actually buying those kinds of products. Together with our uh, core values and with the certification, we do believe that people understand the quality of our products. We don't do any greenwashing. We don't just add apple juice or aloe vera juice to have a greater uh, quality of uh, when it comes to organic and natural. We, we feel certain that our products are the best you can get really. Mm -hmm. And so you can also feel this certainty and your conviction for the product. Yeah. So what is in uh, place or what is in the scope for 2015? What are your plans? Our plans is to increase the market in Germany and we are just going to start in UK in 2015. Uh, we're also of course uh, increasing within Sweden. And the next step is Switzerland and Austria. So we're really happy to make the move forward into Europe. Okay, and so Quadia is there as a support and investor. Guillaume, so there was a recent article out about in, uh, impact investment by the World Economic Forum. They talked about a hype or a bubble building in this sector of impact investment. So what would you reply to such fears? Is there uh, like really something uh, hyped uh, in this market and not going further? I think the report by the World Economic Forum is not, uh, is not incorrect. For me, the hype means that there's a lot of talk about impact investing. Uh, but there's, for the time being, little action that's happening. The question of the bubble is just uh, a lot of demand, um, not enough offer. And I think that is one of the issues today of, of impact investing, is a lot of people want to put money into this sector, uh, but there are very few good opportunities, first of all. And I think the skill sets of the intermediaries, like Quadia, are still lacking. Um, there's lacking the true core investment skills. Um, and so that bubble is being created because everybody's going into the same direction, same companies. Uh, so some companies are able to raise a lot of money. Um, the prices are too high because there, aren't much, uh, there isn't much offer. So people are willing to pay high prices just to be able to put money into, into a company and say that they have done an impact investment. And that creates the bubble. So uh, I think first what is needed is to, for us to maybe broaden a little bit our vision of what is impact investing. Uh, traditionally, impact investing has been about driving capital from the north to the south, and it's been a lot about dealing with um, poverty reduction issues or health issues. But impact investing is really a mindset, and so you can apply impact investing in Europe, you can apply impact investing in the environment, uh, you can finance companies like, like Luxit, which are not traditionally in the radar of impact investors who are looking more at, at you know, agriculture, emerging market countries, uh, Africa, South America, and Asia. So uh, I think once we start redefining a little bit what impact investing is, and not so much where you invest, but it's how you invest, 
And I think then we will see that there will be uh, more skill sets that are available uh, and those skill sets will also be able to bring in the, the quality uh, deals. Jenny Scharner from Luxit Organic Cosmetics and Guillaume Taylor from Quadia Impact Finance. Thank you very much for being our guests here today. Thank you, thank Daniel. Thank you for receiving very us. much. And thank you very much for watching. Do make sure to keep clicking back on the Dukas Copy TV website for latest updates and exclusive interviews. Have a great day and see you next time.